My name is Dr Annie Murphy. I'm a GP at Wideway Medical Centre in South London. I'm also the digital lead at East Merton Primary Care Network, which is a network of local GP practices that have grouped together to provide services for the local population. I'm working on an eHub model that helps GP receptionists and call handlers to be able to navigate patients to the right professional for their care at the right time. The reason we're doing this is that over, certainly over the last few years, we've seen an unsustainable rise in um, demand for GP appointments, as well as a concurrent reduction in GP workforce. Coupled that with uh, an ever-changing landscape in primary care, where we are seeing more GPs working together in primary care networks, um, bringing in new roles like clinical pharmacists, paramedics, physicians associates, uh, social prescribers, etc. Um, all of this can be very confusing for staff, let alone patients, to know who they should see and when. So that's why we're working on creating a SATNAV for primary care so that it helps direct patients to the right person that they could uh, that could answer their query. The result of this would be that patients get to see the right person, get more time with an allied health professional, um, and it also frees up the GP to be able to see more complex, vulnerable, undifferentiated presentations. What I've learned from this project is that um, nothing ever stays static. The original idea that I had for the eHub has evolved over the course of the last few months into something so much bigger and so much more exciting. Um, and it's taken me down paths that I'd never dreamt of. I met so many good people um, in the field and had some very thought provoking conversations with people and I've made some really good connections along the way. I was overly enthusiastic at the beginning and tried to push my ideas and um, thoughts before I had enough evidence to back them. And I received some really constructive feedback following um, those scenarios which has helped me reflect, redirect um, and sort of understand better the whole process of carrying out transformation. Being on the Digital Pioneer Fellowship programme has um, put me in touch with some truly inspiring people um, and you know I've made some really good connections and good friends. I've learned a lot about um, how to lead also about, about myself, my strengths and weaknesses. Uh, certainly in the action learning sets where we get together together to sort of try and solve a problem by talking through it, that's been really useful as a reflective tool. And uh, I've certainly brought that back to um, my own workplace. I've also sort of created um, work groups from what I've learned on the Pioneer Fellowship and that has really helped um, mould the project and take it further so that it doesn't become my own project anymore. It becomes, it is then owned by um, other people in, the, uh, in our local community. So the eHub pilot has been running for about six months now and we're constantly tweaking it based on feedback from patients and from our staff. Um, we formed a, um, a work working group for um, the eHub navigation project um, and we use patient surveys to help us understand what our patients actually want from us. So we've got some really interesting um, patient survey feedback, which says that the majority of our patients in our area would rather phone us uh, rather than go online or use self apps or etc. So we've used that information to um, mold and tweak our eHub to suit the local demand of the population. We've also got some uh, really good early data to show that um, 
as a result of the eHub, our digital offer has increased, not in the sense of digital access, but more how um, clinicians contact and liaise with patients can be done uh, via two-way SMS and other digital means. And so it means that things like transactional clinical administration could be done digitally, and that saves a lot of appointments for um, actual clinical need. Final thing which uh, I'd like to highlight is our allied health professionals that are working um, in the practice have been working under the umbrella of a senior GP to supervise them. Um, we have created a sort of virtual roundhouse model where um, we've got a team, a multidisciplinary team that is supervised by a senior clinician. And that's been really useful because A, it allows patients to have a little bit more time with an allied health professional, so that improves satisfaction. It means that allied health professional can upskill and work um, within a safe environment. They can try out new things because they know that they have GP support. And it also then frees up GP time to be able to deal with more complex issues. So uh, this model is, uh, at the moment, has been working really well in a sort of local setting and I'm hoping to be able to uh, escalate that and get some more data to um, validate it. I would say to get any project to work, we would need to involve everyone. Um, not just the original person who's thought of the idea, but it needs to be co-designed and co-owned by everyone that it will impact. Um, so for us, the SatNav was co-designed by patients. We had interviews with patients from our participation group. Um, we interviewed staff members. We did patient surveys um, and we have a working group with representation from each um, of our team in primary care. And so together we have made it what it is. Um, and that's why everybody feels in, encouraged and enthusiastic about bringing it forwards. So the key really is to try and communicate and involve everyone. <laughs>